Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to do another tutorial walkthrough with you. Right here I am doing a classic set and I walk, wanna walk you guys through kind of my process and why I do certain things a certain way. Okay, so I always get asked, should I start in the inner corners or the outer corners? And you guys, I say neither. I always suggest starting out in the midsection and doing your inner and outer corners very last because it is the easiest to attack the inner and outer corners when the majority of the lash set is complete. So try my advice, start in the inner or start in the midsection and then do inner and outer corners very last, okay? Now, you can still do some in there, the easiest ones, but don't try and get the really really hard ones until the very end because that is when you want to use your tape to help you pull all the lashes you've already done over to the side and kind of help pull out all the baby lashes that are still available to lash okay now if you guys know me and you've been watching me you know that I lash a hundred percent of the natural lashes especially on a classic set okay now the top most important things when it comes to classic lashing is placement isolation and direction okay we have to make sure that we're placing with the flow of the natural lash you don't want to overcompensate you want it to go in the same direction it's also really important you guys that you get clean isolation because the better the isolation then the better the placement is going to be you don't want to have to always detach lashes now it will happen you'll get some that stick together and that's normal um but to avoid like this one here see those like tiny baby lashes behind there that's normal for this longer one to get stuck on those so you can anticipate that but for the cleanest application you want to definitely make sure to isolate as perfect as possible Okay, now you can see here my glue is taking a little bit longer to dry, so I just hold the lash in place with my isolation tweezer until it is dry. Okay, it's just as simple as that. Don't overthink it, you guys. Sometimes people think that the lash or the extension has to attach immediately, and it's always great when it does, but there will be times when you do have to correct the lash from falling and then hold it there a little bit longer than you would like to. That's okay. Okay, now on this set, we are doing all of her long lashes first because I like to attack the long lashes before I mess with the baby lashes. This is just the easiest technique for me. If you try to do the baby lashes first and you feel like you're struggling, I highly recommend trying to do all of the bigger lashes first and then go in and attack the little lashes at the very end. Okay, so this lash, for instance, how I was telling you to go with the flow of the natural lash, the base is straight, but the lash is tilted, so I still went straight with the base of that natural lash. And this is just so so therapeutic for me to rewatch my work because I tend to overthink everything when I'm lashing because I am a perfectionist. But look at, at this technique, you guys. You can use your second tweezer to help pull out those natural lashes to help you isolate. Always use your tools. If you've been watching my videos you know that I always say to use your tweezers or use your pinky method, help you isolate and comb through all the lashes, get through those layers. Now, always check your work, okay? You're going to see me throughout this video checking my work, making sure that none are stuck together, double checking that I've lashed as many as possible because the better and cleaner the set is the more comfortable it's going to be for your clients okay so while we're lashing of course there's going to be times when lashes are going to stick together but it's our job to separate them okay so make sure you check your work and make sure you always separate any lashes that are stuck together now i like to always double check my work after also i or i seal my lashes 
Here I'm using our seal of the deal, which is our bonder. And I don't use a nanomister, I always use a bonder. And that's what I'm putting on here. I like to wait until after the service and then I put it on both eyes. And then I dry those bad boys, okay? And I don't let my client open their eye until I've dried them and rechecked because this will um, have the lashes stick back together. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, this was a quick one. I'm going to be uploading every Friday a new tutorial, a new lash with me, something lash related. And if you guys have any suggestions, please drop a comment and let me know what you guys want to see from me. Don't forget to join my business seminar. It's on April 1st. I'm going to be discussing how to scale and grow your business into six, seven figures, you guys. Don't miss this opportunity. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be back soon.